Welcome to another episode of Garage 96. So the reason why I'm doing this video is, um, if you can see here, this is all peeling off from my steering wheel, thanks to Infinity. I think it's just from the sun beating on it, so I don't have a closed garage, so yeah. But uh, I bought a car steering wheel cover that I can just stitch on. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So basically all you need is the steering wheel cover and the needle comes with it and a razor knife too. Okay, so let's get started. So you take it out of the package, obviously. And then um, this one has the stitching over here. So I'm going to put that on the bottom right over here just so I don't see it too much. So you kind of just put it on like this, align it. There we go. Let me check for fitment. All aligned, so yeah. Let me show you here, up close. You just uh, kind of align it. And get ready for stitching. Okay, so you start off by putting your Okay, so you start off by putting your um, string through your needle and um, tie a knot on it. Do like a double knot or something. I don't know. I'm gonna just put like a couple knots in here. Maybe a little bit more. So yeah, right there. And let's get started. This is my first time doing this too, so if I do make mistakes, you can learn from my mistakes. So, yeah. And let me just show you here. Um, this one already has the holes pre preset for you, so um, kind of want to just match them up. So, yeah. So let me just show you what I did here. Um, I just tried a couple stitches and then see which pattern I liked. Um, you should do this too because if you're if, if it's your first time doing it, you know, you wanna um, before you do everything, you wanna get a set stitch, you know, see what you wanna do and how you wanna do it. So what I'm gonna be doing is going from always from the outside. So um, going from here to the other one the other hole on the other side and just keep doing that same pattern so yeah it's gonna be fun okay so another um, key point here you see this um, I put it right in the middle and how I know this is um, I have four four holes here and then on the other side too I, uh, I counted it so um, I have four holes so when I put the needle from here I know all the um, holes match up so yeah, just the key point. Okay, so now that I want, I know what I'm gonna be doing with the pattern, so I'm just gonna get busy. And uh, every time you do it, make sure you um, snug it up, you know. Make sure it's uh, nice and stiff. There we go. Once you get the pattern right, it just, it just goes. It's pretty easy. Anybody can do this at home, you know. Okay, so this is how it's going. And uh, we're coming to a tricky part. Um, so 
so I'm going to do it like this. So make sure it's um, nice and snug. So the next one, I'm going to come around again and then go from the same holes, just follow a same pattern. But I can't, I can't go around, so I'm just going to go down and under, down and under, and then start the process here again with the same thing. So yeah. So another mistake I did, um, I think I passed too much, so I have this little thingy here. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just um, take one or two off, and then go from there. Go from there. So yeah. Okay, so it got dark outside, but um, I'm almost finished. I thought I was all finished, but um, this didn't really fit. I have like this whole gap here so uh, what I'm gonna do is try to cut this and then um, stitch it they did give me some extra one so hope it works if not we'll just um, buy a smaller one or something I don't know okay so after another half an hour um, I cut this right here and then um, kind of made a stitch didn't really uh, come out too good, but it'll do for now. And um, I'm just gonna continue and finish it um, all the way to the back. But um, yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so it's all done. And um, this part, um, like you guys know, I cut it and then restitched it all the way through. Um, it's not too bad, but it's not really too good. It might just be like my, my technique that I used, um, or it might just be a little bit too big for this car. But, uh, if you are getting it, make sure you get the right size so you don't have to go through all this. But, um, it still took about like two hours and like 15 minutes or so, all total. That's with the, um... With the custom holes that I had to make, which takes um, which takes time because it's very strong material, so you can't really put the needle through that easily. So yeah, but um, overall it looks good. You know, it's pretty stiff. You could just get a um, steering wheel cover and put it on, but I mean this looks better. Plus, um, this is better because. Uh, it doesn't move it's just like part of the steering wheel now you know so just a reminder thank you guys so much for watching and just a reminder I'm giving away a free Megan Racing muffler once we get a thousand subscribers in this channel so um, all you have to do to win is share this video with hashtag garage 96 on Facebook and you can also share my old videos because the more videos you share is going to be more chances for you to win. But um, once we hit 1000 subscribers, it'll be shipped out to a lucky winner, one of you people. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or suggestions, comment below and make sure to follow me on Instagram, 
Twitter and Facebook too. And then make sure to share the video with the Garage 96 on Facebook. So you might be the lucky winner. So yeah, have a good one.